I'm sure I'm losing to some tactic, but I don't see it right off. Like bishop h7, I have knight h7. Rook c5, bishop f3, bishop c4, king h8, knight f7, king g8, knight d6, king h8, knight takes e8. I still have bishop c5, if gf, rook e8. If knight f6, he hangs the rook on d1. So I don't see the win for white here. Obviously. Okay, yeah, so we're going to play Daniel. Okay, let's play Daniel. Let's go. Let's play e4. Bum, bum. I think this is a mistake. So I have queen b3. Hit the pawns. And knight g5 maybe? Okay, what is this? So if I castle, h6 I guess is the idea. I'm just gonna castle. He can't really take, so I take. If he plays h6, I... Oh, maybe I've got h6, knight e6, and queen b7 or something? Oh, wow. Maybe I could've just taken on e6 right away. Thank you, Nosh, for giving us up to apex of everyone. Could I play knight e6 right away? No, I think that was too sketch. Well, okay, now I can't take. If I take and he takes and I play e4. Wait, if I take knight e5, rook f6, gf6, queen d5, king h8. Oh, I feel like there should be something here. I take. I mean, rook f6 looks very interesting. Okay, let's play e4 though. Because rook f6, gf6, and I guess he's fine. Thank you, Tactic. Or thank you to uh, Anonymous for the good sub once again to Anonymous, uh, everybody. Thank you so much. If he plays the h6, I go knight f3 and I hit all the pawns, basically. Go c6. I feel like I should have something here. But he's 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 consolidating. I mean, maybe I take and go knight e4. Yeah, I take... Oh, I just blundered. Whoops. I thought I could just take. Although I do have takes and takes, so he's gonna take, and then I guess I go knight e4. I still, I really want to take on f6. Daniel would do it. I mean, I want to do it, but I don't know if it works. Okay, f6, gf6, queen e5, king h8, knight e6, rook e8, knight f7, king g7, knight e6. Whatever, let's play like a Dan Daniel. Let's do it. He has to take with a pawn. Rook takes, and I take, and then he's getting all kinds of. Oh, wait, but. I don't know, actually, because now he's got king h8, which I forgot about. Although I have knight f7, knight e5. It's very interesting. Yeah, see, I'm, I should have done it the other way. I should have taken without h6, because then knight f7 would have been winning. Although I have queen e4, I guess, at some point. Okay, I'd probably play knight f7. And now I have knight d6. I, oh, wait, I've also got knight e4. Wait. Actually, knight e4 looks good. Hit the rook. This looks very dangerous. I've got knight g6 coming, queen e4, his king is very open. This looks very, very dangerous for black. Okay, I should take with the knight, I guess. Yeah, let's just take. Hit the rook. What, he's got queen e6, queen b7. Okay, so if I take queen e5, queen a8, I don't see anything. Because the queen on e8 will also guard the long diagonal. Okay, so takes. But I've got so many pawns here. This this has to be winning for white. Okay. Um, let's see, d4, d5. I don't... Let's just play knight f3. This must be winning. Okay, d4. I've got, what, four pawns? I've got four pawns. I've got a, a knight and four pawns for his rook, which is a lot. Uh, thank you to Boda for the 99933 for the three months. Thank you so much. Okay, I can play d5. Yeah, you know what? Do I even care about this pawn? I probably should not. Yeah, whatever. Who cares? It's just one pawn. I still have three pawns. I mean, it's really hard to believe that this is not just really good for me. I've got knight d4, I think. I mean, unless he can somehow double, which I don't think he can, okay? King g3. King f4, king e5, I think. It's king e5 now. 
C5. I mean, this this must be winning. Just C5. Rook F8, I go King E5. Rook F5, King E6, and I'm winning. Yeah, it's just winning. Yeah, these two pawns are just much too strong here. C7 is winning. Check. Hey. Rhymes, how bizarre. How bizarre. Alright, play C4, okay. Play G5, G4. Wait, what is this? This isn't right. Because now G. This looks slightly wrong. This is not right somehow. Okay, let's play bishop b7. Because I'm going to take play knight e7 and then c5 to kick the knight. Rook b8 also. Okay, I guess he wants knight f5 anyway, so let's just castle. Okay, I can play queen e8. Eight or f6 and h5, maybe. I play h6, bishop h4, there's nothing. I play c5, it goes knight f5. I play rook b8. Let's just play f6, queen e8, queen f7. Maybe knight g6, h5. Let's put pressure on the pawn here. I want f5, so maybe knight g6 and then f5. Or maybe even just c5, knight g6, bishop g3, f5, or h5, h4. A lot of issues for white here. Okay, I'm going to play c5. Goes knight e2, knight g6, bishop g3, f5 looks very, very dangerous. Maybe it's not, I don't know. f5, or h5, h5, knight f4, takes, takes f. Let's play f5. Let's push f5, I mean, h5 makes sense. Ah, I give him queen g5. Ah. Stupid. Very stupid. H4, bishop h4, takes, takes. I mean, maybe I should just chuck a pawn here. Whatever, let's just chuck a pawn. Actually, or rookie. Okay, bishop g. No, okay, whatever. Just take, play rookie eight. Play for uh, initiative here. I think I'll play c6 to cut knight d5. Because that's a really important square for him to put the knights all, all over the place here. Don't dream it's over. What, you want six pence? Don't dream it's over. Maybe bishop d3 was bat better. I don't know. Okay, bishop d3 looks very good here. Yeah, because now f2 is hanging. His knight is under attack. Like, everything's very iffy here for white. Like, it's all very, very shaky. Like, queen h4, maybe queen f... Ah, maybe bishop takes and bishop h6 or something? Oh, but then he's gonna have a, he's gonna have a draw. Bishop h6 takes, rookie t takes, takes, bishop... Hmm. Maybe queen e6? Okay, wait, but I'm moving too slowly here. I just gotta move. Um, let's just play rookie e6. He's gonna play rook d1 and I'm gonna have to play bishop e6 or something. Oh. Play queen f5 maybe? So I have bishop e5, rook h6, h3. I'm gonna go for it. I don't know if it works. Threatening mate. If h3, I just take and he can't take, so he gets mated. Knight g3, I just take. I think I'm winning. I think it's just winning. I've, I've been 33, I think my high is 33.22, so yeah, I've been higher. B. Let's 
I don't really want to trade, so let's play Bishop B3 and just castle, I guess. H6, H3. Maybe I play D4. This I don't understand. Because now he can't play F6 and I go H3 next move. Although maybe he just take, he can take, I'll, I'll pre-move Queen B3. Because now it's still H3 because he's, he's got the pin so he can't use the F pawn. And I mean he can take I guess if he wants to. I don't think he will. Okay, place knight h6 if I take. Hmm. Oh, I can also play knight h4. Hmm. I guess I'll take and play knight h4. Yeah, knight e7 as expected. Now I want to play for d4. Maybe just king h1, king h8, f4. This should be e3 as a pro. Whatever, let's just do it. Knight c4 or. I'm just gonna play f4, I'm not worried. I have knight c4 and queen b7 and all kinds of other stuff, I assume. Or maybe I just don't. I can take like a Danya. Why am I trying to play chess like Daniel suddenly? Not smart, not smart at all. f5, bishop d2, rook takes f7. I mean, this is a little bit crazy. F7, D E5, Knight F5. I'm just gonna do it. This probably just doesn't work, but it looks dangerous because Knight F5 is a huge threat here. I also have E6 threats, maybe. Knight F5. Oh, I should have played rook f1. Well, rook f1 first is better, I think. I also have h4. This is actually not so easy for black to play. Play h4. I guess I'll, I'll pre-move queen f7 because he surely won't take. And then rook af1. I mean, this is very dangerous. Or maybe even just knight h6. I mean, this is very Daniel style, so. He's got queen. Wait, what? Ah, uh, he just wants to draw. Ah, uh, smart. Smart. Daniel just wants to bail out. Yeah, and I don't have much. I don't think I have much here. I have gh6, maybe? Or queen b7 first, wait. Let's just take. D1. He's got queen d2. Okay, plays rook f8, which I think is a mistake. Definitely a mistake, so now I have queen d5 and d4. That was, maybe queen b5 is better to avoid the check. Queen b5, I think, was actually much stronger. Oh, let's just take. I always have a draw, at the very least, so that's why. I, I mean, queen, I should have played queen b5. Good check. Um, I always have a draw here, but can I play for more with, like, rook e4, rook e3? I was play for more. Because check, I've always got rook g3. I should have gone e4 though. I think rook e4 is better. Yeah, rook e4 is better here. Yeah, okay. Well, let's take. I also could have checked first, but whatever. Uh, let's make a check. Just take. Yeah, it's just a draw. Ah, <sighs> very poor. Mm. Mm. Missed it. I missed it. I missed the win, probably. Queen B, Queen B5 was winning, I think. 
Very poor. Queen b5 instead of queen d5 is winning. Maybe not cleanly winning, but definitely better for white. He wants knight c7 apparently? I have knight h5 maybe? Oh, he's got bishop d6. Queen e d8. Yeah, let's play knight h5. If knight... Wait, can't I take, take, and take? Or... Actually, it's a little bit ugly. Ah, oh, I'm just getting my pieces trapped. Okay, I have to take and play rook e8. Okay, plays knight e5, which I thought knight h4 was stronger. Now, I'm still worse, but I think it's playable, because I've got knight e4, bishop e6. I think this is fine, actually. Okay, so 94, of course, f6 next move, I guess. Though I don't have, well, I, I should probably just kick and go king h8. Like king h8, just double the rooks, pretty traditional. I also have g5, h5, maybe at some point. If he plays f3, I just go knight g5. It's 5 a.m., what are you doing? I'm playing chess, it's what I do. What am I, what else am I supposed to do, like, like, I mean, as as Jan could, as Jan would probably know. Like, what else are we supposed to do? Like, there's no chess tournaments. There's like nothing to do. I mean, I guess in his case, he can uh, he can uh, he can study for <laughs> for the candidates since there's still I don't know what seven rounds or something to go. But in general, it's just like, what are we supposed to do at this point? Just, I mean, just sit around all day and be boring. Like, got to do something with your life. I'm gonna play h5, h4, h3, of course. I mean, he can try to get a queenside minority attack, but it feels very... Oh, he hung e3. Oh my gosh, he just... He hung the pawn e3 and I didn't take it. I'm so bad. Okay, I'm gonna go h4, maybe h3? I think just h4, knight d6, and then g4. I'm loving my position here. h3, g4. I mean, they're all kinds of dangerous threats. Um, he plays g4, which I think is a mistake. He can take and play knight e4. I'm just gonna take. Go bishop g6 and knight f5 next move. Well, maybe I, maybe I should have gone back. No, I probably takes is correct. It just feels weird. Let's go king g7, knight f5. I'm playing in a move or two. Maybe not quite. Maybe no. Maybe. Hmm. I think I'll just play rook h8. Just sit and wait. See what he's going to do. Knight f5 is coming in a move or two. No, you know what? Let's just go back. Let's let's tickle him. Maybe he's, I don't, I don't really know what he's playing for either. I think I can play d3 or g4 maybe. Let's do it. It's a little bit sketchy, but I'm gonna play it. Let's go queen h3. I mean, I don't like my position that much, but I have knight g5. I've got, I thought I had bishop d3 to win material here. Revoke his 3100 status, I'll try to. If I play well, I think I can. I mean, let's go knight g5. Check. Um, actually, whatever, let's just, eh, just take and take. Um, actually, why did I play that? That was a bad move. Ah, whatever. Let's just play b5, use the rook on the h file. This is going to be hard to win, actually. I'm not sure I'm winning. Let's go rook g6.
Okay, but now I can break, and now I'm now I'm better. Probably winning now. So let's see one. Let's see one next move. I think I'm just winning now. All right, better, better. So far, so good. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing, knight g5. I think he just, I mean, this has to be good for white. It's hard to believe, but now maybe I can take? No, I can check and just collect on e6. This is queen b3. Well, he's got king e7. No, but I can take and play queen a3. Yeah, that's just very, very bad for black. Um, just make a check, knight f3, I guess. Uh, let's play knight d2, knight f3. Just have to be careful here that I don't, like, get attacked. But, I mean, this must just be terrible for black. Queen c2. This king is so... Okay, just d4. Just take. Just take. Just play, like, knight e4. Oh, I blundered rook f3! Oh my gosh! The one tactic in the position, I blunder it. The only tactic, the only prayer he has, and I blunder it. Oh my gosh, so bad. So bad. The only thing he had in the position, I, and I blunder it. The only tactic. The only tactic in the position, I blunder it. Just absolutely unbelievable. Because King H1... And the knight is for what you won. The only tactic, and I blunder it. The only thing he had. I'm still maybe, I'm still probably okay. I'm still probably winning technically, but it's just very upsetting to blunder something like this. You just, you just don't want to do it. Maybe it's, maybe it's a draw, actually. I don't know. We'll see. No, actually, I'm still probably winning. So I will have some F4. Queen d5, rook d8, rook queen e4, knight g2. Right, so I can take, I, I mean, I saw this line from a mile away. Um, oh, I have knight f1. I have knight f1, maybe. Wow, I've got knight f1, I think. I think I have knight f1 here. Okay, well, let, let's, let's play the tickle. Let's see. Goes knight g1, knight, he's got knight h4, I take. Wait, but knight e1, okay. I'll, oh my god, it doesn't even work, I played the wrong order. Wait, now it doesn't even work. Now I just blundered instead. Well, no, wait, I've got queen d5. Okay, queen d5. Now I could take on b7 to make a second queen or queen e4. Queen four knight g two. What's what's going on here? I've got bishop h six maybe. It's very very sharp now. I also can throw in the tickle with c seven as well. This is very very sharp. If rook d one rook g one, I think I'm winning. Okay, so let's take. So I, I the c seven tickle is extremely important to make the queen. I think I'm winning. I think it was just losing for him. Okay, I go see. Wait. If I. Wait, wait, wait a second. Okay. This must be winning. Okay, if I play c7. Or g1, this is just winning. I just move my bishop back and he's just getting sauced.
It was knight f5. I mean, it's just game over, basically. I think. I mean, maybe you can just move the rook and pretend nothing happened, but it's hard to believe he's not just lost. Let's just make a check. This takes. Now just check and collect. Game over. Play e6 d5. Let's go bishop b4. Um, I need mods. I mean, I can, I can, I can mod. I can mod myself if I need to. Um, oh, do I need? Is someone? Okay, you better stop it, dude. Time to stop before before bad things start happening. Let's go bishop d6 and knight bd7 here. Oh, he's got f4. Do I have g5 maybe? Probably I do, but I, I don't hmm, I don't really like what I'm doing. So I'm going to go bishop b7. Knight g3. Okay, I can play knight a6 maybe. Not super concerned about f5. He takes, I just take. Play a5 maybe, just a5, f5, bishop b7, or just castles, it's just castle. Okay, I can take and play rook e8, I guess. Should be fine here, queen d7 ideas. Also just g6 maybe. Oh, wait, I, wait, knight d7? Takes, takes. Actually, this looks fine. I mean, queen e3, I'm doing very well here, actually. Got another really, really nice position. Okay, I guess I should just check and check. I had f6, very, very nice position. Oh, he's got queen e5, though. Wait, but rook e8 maybe? Okay. Uh, thank you to Incredible Blunderer for the five months. Actually, queen d2 looks fine. Just trade in rook e8. Rook e8. Because queen e2, I can actually just take the pawn even. I forgot that was hanging. Queen d6. Whoa, thank you to Sterling Cold with the raid of 170. Thank you so much. Uh, it's got knight d5. Crud. Got knight takes d5 here. Maybe he'll miss it though. He doesn't miss it. Okay, so we take. Takes. Very imbalanced here. It's 4v4, but he's gonna have to take one of my doubles. Oh, I gave him rook b1. Very poor. Very, very poor. Although I've got g6 and knight d5. Okay, takes, takes. Play rook a2. Guess I play g6 and king g7. A g5 is also playable, but now knight d5, I hit the pawn, and this one's going. Okay, if I take and play f6, knight d7, king e7, I don't see it. Oh, he's just got rook g. Oh, shoot. Just got rook f7 or something. Yeah, why did I do this? Yeah, now I'm just gonna have to make a draw. Unfortunate. Unfortunate, as the saying goes. Whatever, a draw's a draw. It's better better than losing, that's for sure. Although if I get a4, a3, a2 in with the rook on g2, I'm probably winning. So it's tricky here for, for, for white. It's not a clean clean draw, actually. He has to show some technique still. Yeah, but he, he finds, yeah, this is actually just an easy draw, I guess. Where is it? Wait, is this an easy draw? I'm not so sure. I've got a4, a3, rook b2. I don't know, is this an easy draw? Let's see. I don't think this, this might be winning for me because I've got the split pawns, which means I can check. 
Let's play f3. A3. I'm not sh No, he's losing. I go king f7. This is a losing king and pawn endgame. Because I can check and go a2. He's losing. And my king is close enough that it can cut. This is the important thing. King e8. Yeah, that's just lost. Or is it? Wait, he's got tricks. I have rook a2. Oh no, does he have tricks? No, he doesn't, because I check and I have rook h1 at the end. Yeah, yeah, it's just lost. Yeah, it's just lost. So I've got rook h1. The king's on f2, not g2. Okay, resigns. Let's go again. Let's play e4. We're chilling, chilling. Play knight f3. Ah, oh, he plays d5. Okay, improves. So yeah, I should not have allowed this. Let's take and take. It's castle. Thank you to Tactics Psychopaths for the tier one. Thank you so much. Once again, big shout out to Sterling Cold and everyone he raided with. Uh, hope hope life is well. Hope you're doing well. Um, and thanks again for the raid. Uh, I have bishop b5 here. I also have just knight f1, knight g3, knight e4, knight g3. Knight e4, knight f4, knight g5. I mean, d4, e4 is no, no bueno. Queen b3 is no bueno. Um... Oh, let's play knight e4 here. Let's just go... Oh, I was going to play queen d2, but that doesn't quite work. Maybe just bishop b5 here. Idea to play knight g3. Put pressure on the bishop. Put max pressure on the e5 pawn. Let's a4. Oh, he's got rook d8. Hmm, this is not... This is very far from ideal. It's not what I wanted at all. Yeah, this is not what I wanted at all. Let's play rookie three. I'm um, thinking of control play for the 11 months. Yeah, I misplayed this very badly. Okay, knight d3. Do I have any tricks like knight g5? Knight g5 is a Daniel style move. Let's just do it. Just like queen h5, bishop c4, c4. Some kind of bunk here. That probably doesn't work, but it's tricky. Like, okay, knight c5? Okay, and if I go queen h5? Does, oh, he just a knight e, Well, I still have a check and knight e4, because there's no back rank, so I have bishop f1. I'm trying to play like Daniel plays. Daniel likes to play a lot of, like, sort of mediocre, quasi... quasi sacks, so I'm trying to do the same thing to him, basically, at this point. Okay, he misses it. He does not play f6, which was just winning. So he's making this more interesting. Let's make a check on queen h4. Like knight g3, knight f5. It's wow. Okay, well I'm totally taking a draw here. I mean, okay, I expected him not to take the draw, but we'll see. Knight f5 is a big threat. Bishop c4 is a big threat too. It's not easy for Black to play here. And this bishop is huge for the back rank cover here, because it means I can use my knight as an attacking position. How's it going, Jewels? Cheat. Hope you're doing well. But now, I have bishop c4. Oh, oh wait, that just hangs a piece. What? Oh my gosh, what am I doing? I'm blind. That just hangs a piece. Wow, what am I doing? <laughs> Bizarre. Wow. Well, let's try to wake up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That was not the intention. Wow, that was bad. Uh, let's play queen c8. Oh, did I just blunder? No, I've got knight d5. Okay, castles. Yeah, let's play knight d 7 Yeah, that was, that was very bad. Let's play h6. It's probably going to do the same like h3. Okay. I think I can play a6 here, maybe, and bishop d8, c7 as an idea. Okay, knight e5, kind of expect. Let's go bishop e6. 
The problem is I played a6, so he has a knight a4 maybe at some point. Maybe. I guess I will just take now, play knight d7. I do have c5 here. Oh no, that hangs a pawn. Oy, oy, oy. Let's go bishop d8, bishop c7. Starting to get a little bit sloppy here. Starting to get very sloppy, in fact. Oh, he's got some silly threat. I see his, I see what he wants to do. So let's just play f5. He wanted some cheese, cheesy trick like take 6, knight d5, queen d6, queen c2 to, to mate me on h7, which I'm not going to fall for, of course. Maybe rook e8 was better than f5, just because f5 creates a slight weakness if I can't trade the bishops. But I think I'm doing fine here. Plays queen a3, okay, so bishop c7. Maybe just rook e8 first. Yeah, rook e8 looks fine. Thank you to John Omanista for the sub with prime. Thank you so much. Okay, this though does not make a lot of sense to me. Because now I just go knight f6, knight e4. And I also bishop e7 at the right moment too. Okay, plays queen b4. Again, a move that I'm not really... I don't really understand what Daniel's doing in this game. He feels like he's kind of letting the whole thread slip a little bit. Like he can, yeah, he can play knight e2. I go queen f7, bishop f7. Oh, but he gets knight e3. Yeah, this is why this is why I knew f5 was a slight mistake. Because now I have some issues to deal with. Let's, hmm, like real issues. Let's go, just go queen c8 and knight e7. Oh, I just blundered again. I'm, yeah, okay. He misses it though. He completely misses it, which is a, a miracle in and of itself. Takes was winning because rookie six, bishop f5. I take, I lose the pawn. So um, let's try not to squander this opportunity we were given. Not that my position isn't really bad anyway. Let's play rook b8. Okay, maybe now. It's still bad. It's still a bad position. Um, uh, okay, how do I do this? Oh, whatever. Who cares? Plays knight d3. Who cares? Just defend. Knight e5, just knight d7. Knight c5, just queen c8. It's not a good position, but it's it's probably playable at least. I don't know what knight e4 is doing exactly. I'm just going to guard the pawn, play queen, queen e6 again. Oh, I want to go knight e Yeah, I can play knight e8, knight e6, because when he tries to take, or go take, rather, I have rook e8 takes. Let's go rook e8. I'm going to play for f4 in a move or two. Let's go king... Let's go bishop h7, maybe g5, f4 here. So g5. I'm definitely playing f4. Oh, he can play f4 himself. Let's play g4. I assume he'll play h4, yeah. Okay, so let's just play k8, h5. Just try to shut it down here. This should be a draw, I think. So I can go one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, this should be a draw. Should be a pretty clean draw at that. Just bishop e6. Bishop c8, I'm sure, is fine too. But I've got knight e4 if he tries to get funny. Okay. Again, knight e4 is always an issue for, for white. So king e8. King d8 is fine. Oh, I just blundered the stupid thing that I saw the whole way. I'm still okay though, because now actually, ironically, he has to move the bishop and he loses the pawn on a5. And now I'm going to try to try to beat him on the clock for sure. Bishop d7. That was a mistake. Let's play knight's four. He's got to take, and now I get bishop b6. And now I'm just going to smash him. Or oh, he's got rook b4 though. Then c3. Did he get away with this? Go bishop d5. Rook e8. No, he can get away with this. Five. 
Shock takes King E4. Yeah. Okay, Daniel. Knight before, seriously. Not cool. Okay, let's play knight three. I think the server is going to be restarting pretty soon, so I might have to stop for a bit. It's saying 32 minutes server restarts. So let's just take queen b3 again. Keeps playing this d5 move, which is interesting. I guess I just take and castle. It feels questionable to me as to whether... Like, knight h5, I go g3. This just seems a little bit questionable, this structure. Although maybe it's completely fine. Although if I take and play knight, play d4. Yeah, let's take and play d4. Because e4, I have knight e4, knight e4, queen d5. Check. Game over. I don't think so. Okay, so let's just take, let's 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 play very classically here. Um, queen d6, okay, let's just play rook e2. Let's play f3 or rook e1. If takes, I take with a pawn. Okay, now I can play knight d7. Is this good? Yeah, let's 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 not give Daniel any hopes. Let's force end games where he can't where he can't do anything basically. Where there are no tactics and he just has to live with live with the the mistakes with the errors of his ways. I think rook, rook, oh no he's got he's got rook g2. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Then I'm just maybe queen d1 and queen f3 is fine here. So he's gonna lose the pawn at c7. Yeah, I mean, what he did was totally, like, just hoping that I would pre-move something. Like, absolute rubbish. Hikaru play chess. I go to sleep. I wake up. Hikaru still play chess. Yes, that's pretty much how it goes these days. Play rook e5. He's got queen f7, though. Or queen... Again, I, I walked into another stupid trick, like, for no... Or wait, no, rook f3? I have king h1? <laughs> and he just loses. That's pretty funny, actually. That's pretty funny. That's actually really funny. Okay, so he takes. I guess I take and take. Oh, I blundered. Well, no, rook. Um, I can check and go rookie two. I can also just, takes is no good. Let's go um, rookie five. Try to force rooks off the board here. It's got h4 though. Not playing precisely here. Let's make a check and go rookie three. Oh, I've got rookie one next move. It's a rook f three, rookie one. Should be okay here. Also, rookie four to win the pawn. Play rook f3. Now I can probably bring my king around to the queen side slowly. That doesn't look right. Let's play um, rook f4. Not. Actually, yeah, because I've got rookie four after rookie six. Now I can slowly bring my king around, I think, and just win. And he can never really un undo the damage of putting the rook on. Yeah, now I'm threatening rookie seven. Yeah. Let's take some... Um, I can also check and play rookie four. G4 looks good. Yeah, G4 just looks winning, so I've got rookie... Yeah, check and rook h8. Oh, well, that's game over. Hey! Just take and castle. Knight d7 and c5. Let's play b6. Knight f6, knight e4. So we should be seven next move. Guess I just take and play queen b7 next move. Yeah, 
Yeah, again, you guys, not, 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 not advisable. Don't, don't start, don't start losing your minds here. Wreckful, yeah, Byron's a pretty chill dude. Big fan of Byron, actually. Let's play Rook D8, put pressure on the pawn. Knight E4, hit the bishop, Knight C5 now. Oh, he's got Queen F3, but I can just go back. Don't love it, but it's it should be good enough. Okay, plays bishop d3, so I can obviously play like bishop d6 or bishop c5. If takes, takes, and then bishop c5, I don't... That doesn't look right. I'm gonna play queen c5 maybe. Yeah, queen c5 looks fine here. And I, bl I guess I blundered knight f7, although I do have rook e8, and then I take on d5, so it's not completely clean. Um, yeah, he does it. So of course I don't really want to take. If I play rook f8, knight g5... Then I have knight, no, I don't have knight d5. Okay, I guess just rook e8. Thought I could take and take. Bishop d5, rook c5, bishop about three check. I don't see it, so I'm gonna go for it. I'm sure I'm losing to some tactic, but I don't see it right off. Like bishop h7, I have knight h7. Rook c5, bishop f3, bishop c4, king h8, knight f7, king g8, knight d6, king h8, knight takes e8. I still have bishop c5, if gf, rook e8. If knight f6, he hangs the rook on d1. So I don't see the win for white here. Oddly. Oddly, I don't see the win here. But we'll see. Yeah, he found queen f5 though. That's a, that's the problem move I just realized. And it's a big problem actually. Queen b4 maybe. Did I have something better? Like, no, maybe I didn't. Okay, so I just take play rook c8. Oh, but I blundered rook c8. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Really unfortunate. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Well, I can still try to fight on, maybe. Not really, I guess. Um. Oh, I blundered this. Don't actually see a forced mate, okay. Um, uh, I just take? Because queen e2, I have king f4. Oh, jeez. Wow, oh, that's... So careless. I almost flat. I would have maybe flagged him if I had done something a little bit different. But that was a bad game anyway. That was a bad game. That that was that was just a bad game start to finish, pretty much. Um, I was very lucky that I almost survived that. Like I can't believe that I almost did survive that. Uh, let's play bishop b three, h three, bishop b six. I'll just go bishop b three. Yeah, I mean I, I got very lucky to survive as long as I did in that game, so I should have lost in the opening. Uh, let's just play king h2, I guess. Plays d5, okay. Let's take and play rook e1. 
Uh, D4. Oh, maybe I should have taken played rookie one, but. I guess just takes. I'm going to take the other way. I could have taken with the A pawn too, but I'm going to try to create a different pawn structure where I have A3, B4 ideas now. Um, so it's slight, it's just a slightly different pawn structure, but now I can play knight d5, right? Knight b4 though, mm. Okay. Wait, but I can play a3 because I have knight b5, wait, no, maybe not. Um. Let's see, how do I do this actually? I gotta move a little bit quicker, a little bit too slow. Uh, let's see, knight b5 looks like a very logical move. Yeah, let's just play knight b5. Queen c2 now, hit the knight. No knight d4, so I can take. He also, he also, if he plays rook d8, I just go a3 and b4. And he can't remove this knight, so he's always got this weakness on, on c7 that he has to deal with. Yeah, but this is a problem though. Okay, I'll play b4. And just rook a c1. You still can't play knight d4 because I can take and go like queen d3 and e5. Words were said but not understood. Yes, exactly. I totally agree with that assessment. Uh, how much time do we have left? Not much time. I think just g3. Rook d3, just king g2 and queen e2. I think I should play queen e2 here probably. Yeah, queen e2 here makes a lot of sense. And if rook d3, okay, plays queen e7. So, I mean, he's, it feels like he's getting, he's misplaying this a little bit. Um, I feel like I'm slowly starting to out, outplay him. But let's just play not rook c3 because then knight d4 is a problem. Oh, I could have played knight c3 and knight d5 maybe there. I don't know. Let's just play rook. Um, let's play rook c1. So let's go king g2. Now there's no queen g6 either with knight f4 ideas. Because they put the pawn on g6. So I feel like I'm doing reasonably well here. Um, I'll play rook d2 now. Try to trade some rooks. Play knight f3 back. Maybe now queen c4. Try to trade some queens off. Because he's getting slowly squeezed here. His pawns are not good. Okay, I still can't play knight c3 yet. Um, let's play queen c3. Ah, but now I gave him knight d4. Oy, oy, oy. Doesn't take advantage, though. Yeah, let's just go back. Not worried about h4. Um... Rook d3 trade. Maybe knight c3. No, yeah, knight c3, knight d5 now, because now he doesn't have knight d4 with the rook on d3. Now, now I'm happy. Okay, let's play... I like knight d5 here. E d5. Oh, e d5, he's got e4. Okay, let's take with the rook. He put the pawn on h5. What, e d5, e4. Knight d2. Knight b8. See, I feel like I'm close to being much better here. I've got to move quicker though. I'm moving too slowly. Okay, let's play queen c3. Knight e5 next move. Knight. Play h4. Ugh, I misplayed this again. Knight a3, king c3, and his knight's getting trapped. Got knight c3 next move. a4 next move too. a4. 
A four? Oh, it's a draw though. It's just a draw. It's just a draw. Shoot. I mean, it's just a draw. So stupid. So stupid. Okay, last couple, I think, because the server's gonna restart very soon. This is probably the last two. Because the server's restarting in 20, I guess? Server's restarting very soon, so... Uh, this is gonna be the last, like, two, I think, before the before the break. I should not have traded traded the queens, maybe. I don't know, it's it very drawish. Uh, yeah, let's play knight c6. Queen b6, maybe? I missed a mate? No, it was check on queen takes c6, but thank you guys. That was a check. <laughs> that was a, that was a check. Let's play h6. Okay, so if I take e5, I can take and play e5. I can take and also play like bishop a3. Okay, plays this one. Did not actually expect that. Let's play knight h5. Bishop d6. Knight f6, knight g4. Okay, this is very, very good for me. Knight f5 is coming. C3 is hanging. Looks very, very bad for white. Knight f5. If c5 I just take, I'm hitting the queen and the rook. Okay, now I take. I've got bishop e3 here. I can also just take another pawn. That's bishop e3, and that's game over. And now he loses. Okay, he takes. So he's trying to hang on, but he can't really. As long as I don't play some knight e4 and blunder checkmate in two. Like knight g4 and knight e4 would lose to queen d7. Queen takes f7. Knight g4. Just take. Queen supports e6. Okay. Let's play something else this game. Play e4. Play knight d4. Sorry, what's melting? Play b3. I think I can play h3, knight e5, a4, bishop b2. Not even worth playing Daniel, so you lose way more than you gain. Yeah, but I mean, there's no one else on who's high, who's even 3,000. So it's like, if I don't play Daniel, who am I even going to play? That's the problem. Like, I wouldn't mind playing somebody else, but it's just like, there's just no one else on, and there's no one even this high rated. Oh, I was gonna play b4. I could grab, no, b4, of course. All right, plays 96, he actually ignores it. Wait, but I take and take? Oh, but he can just take on b2. Hmm. Whoa, he just gambles. Okay, Daniel's on tilt then. If he plays knight f6, it means he's he's on a big tilt at the moment. Now, a3, knight e4, g7, king g7, knight h5. I don't see it. As long as I win, yeah, but I could beat Daniel by better than 2 to 1. Beating Daniel by a 3 to 1 margin is not easy. Like, it's not easy. I think I can beat Daniel by a 2 to 1 margin any day of the week. Beating him by a 3 to 1 margin is uh is, is asking a lot past a certain number of games like already we're at the p number of games where me beating daniel three to one is um is going to get very hard i thought e5 was just winning here and i'm sure it is but he's got knight h5 or something i don't believe him Play rookie one. Just take take all the Jimmy out of him here, where he can't trade, and he doesn't get any nonsense with some fake attack with knight g3 and blah blah blah. So we just go queen f2, and he can just resign next move. Could I beat Ferruja two to one? Yes, but the problem with beating Ferruja two to one is that I think against Ferruja two to one, I'm losing points. That's that's the problem. Like that's why against Ali Reza, if I play more than like five games or even ten games, I'm not going to beat him by more than two to one. It's just not possible. All right, you guys, and there you go. 10 to 3. 10 to 3. 3 to 1 and clean, and we gain, gain rank, rating points against Dania. So we are very happy right now. We are incredibly happy. Um, so it's all, it's all good.
It's all good, everybody. It's all good. It's all good. Um, so yeah, it's 10 to three. Um, <laughs> like that's the thing. So like the problem is at some point, I'll tell you why I can't beat him by a big score. So at some point I play Danya and what happens is, let's just say I get to like 10 to three and then I go lose two games immediately and then it's 10 to five and then I have to start winning, getting streaks and it gets harder and harder as the players play more and more games and you get, t you get more and more tired. So um, we are all happy as third person. Yes, thank you Anonymous for the gift of sub to not name, not one man. Um, let me see when the server is restarting because the server is supposed to be restarting very soon, I think, as well. So that's why I'm not playing anymore for the time being. 